everybody and welcome back to another one of my vlogs so this is going to be the final vlog i film this week before the holiday content starts for me and i'm so excited honestly this is a build up this vlog is going to be all the prep of me getting ready for my holiday this saturday it's currently monday the 6th of june and i go away on saturday the 10th but i'll be at matt's from friday night the night and i'm babysitting in the evening um so i've got to make sure everything is done preferably by thursday so i've got four days to get everything done i've got plenty of time i'm absolutely shattered today i'm going to use the evening oh oh um to make lists of everything that i need to take with me this as before i go away on holiday <laughs> mum has very kindly treated us as easies and i'm very excited about it i'm going to do a taste test so what did you get mum mine looks like oh that looks really good it does doesn't it yum so my main concern about getting from like delivery is okay honestly it looks so good um take that off taste test mm. good. oh that tastes amazing to say i enjoyed it i've never fin finished a full zz's meal but that's also because i've normally been pretty drunk when i've been there so maybe this teaches me to eat first probably got pasta around my mouth or sauce um but i've just realized i'm gonna upload this vlog before my pack with me so the day after sunday um i'm gonna after you see this which is on saturday at 4 p.m so today i'm going on holiday and i'm going to you can pause it oh, i won't be long um and then i'm gonna upload my pack with me because it makes sense to do the holiday prep then pack with me and then multiple videos throughout the week that i'm on holiday hopefully um so yeah but i'm just so excited and i'm going to show you guys a sneak peek to my suitcase um shania made me laugh she was just like how long are you going for and i'm thinking it's good to be over prepared than under prepared um but yeah i don't know if i mentioned laura said she'd happily be in my vlog so and she's got her neon sign in her salon bit and i'm just so excited i'm gonna give you a sneak peek to my room and my suitcase well the floor isn't too bad it's my bed and everything else but i'm gonna shut my window because i get really funny about bugs and stuff which i know must sound ridiculous it's nearly 9 p.m <laughs> and i need to finish i can't do this with one hand <laughs> so yeah oh put my alexa on um yeah are you ready did you light out because i've obviously been using it for the video this is all gonna go in my wardrobe <laughs> this is my suitcase it's a lot more organized than previous years which i'm really happy about my bed obviously sneak peek to the fact that this is gonna be like my hand luggage and also i'm gonna be using this when we go on days out and stuff and yeah so i need to organize this however can i just this i'm taking my michael course purse i'm gonna transfer everything in there um this Trigwell Cosmetics makeup, like makeup brush bag, has got all my brushes in. I was so amazed with it. I'm obviously going to take these. That's going to go in my handheld. And that's going to go in my um, other bag. And I'm going to take my jewelry box and stuff like that. But yeah, so makeup. And then all of this. So it's not too bad, but I'm going to carry on filming the pack with me now. Finished filming my pack with me. My room's currently looking like this. That's what I'm wearing tomorrow the funeral oh my goodness gracious all my hangers have gone up there except the one that's just fallen down there shoes will be coming with me obviously but yeah this is what my room's currently looking like mum's doing me some washing and obviously whilst i'm away um, and this bag is left for my toiletries and i'm taking this with me because it's special um and i'm also call me an old fuddy daddy but i'm taking i took this picture with me last time i'm taking me again so i feel like i've always got a bit of gram like a piece of grandma with me so we made it it's the last day i'm home for well it's the last day i'm home here for two weeks last day i'm in my local area for a week and i'm just rude um 
very excited so today is the finalization day making sure i've got everything packing my toiletries um i'm washing my hair when i get to matt's later matt actually won't be that late tonight which is gonna be good we're gonna leave and be on the road for half six seven o'clock tomorrow morning because we just want to get there the sooner the better try and beat as much traffic as possible um so yeah but also today i am getting my nails done at 11 30 with laura and i'm so excited did i leave my i don't know where my tripod is oh there it is i need to find my tripod because i'm going to film time lapses on my phone and then film the main clips on my camera preferably um but yeah nails are getting done then i'm busy from around three till six and then my mum, I think, is either like someone's picking me up or I'm going, um, getting a hoot over or something. Back to Matt's, and then I'm just gonna chill, edit my pack with me, edit this vlog, and then I have a clear SD card. Because I did so much editing last night, and I'm so happy about it. Because today there's a video going up, which is Friday as I'm filming this. Then you're gonna see this vlog today as you're watching this Saturday, um, and then Sunday is my pack with me, and then any other videos will come as they come um so yeah or i will film or i'll upload a video today sunday and then the pack with me maybe tuesday i'm not sure or before i go on holiday i just thought it made more sense who knows um but yeah so i'll have a clear sd card which was the aim um i just can't wait to get my nails done i'm gonna get some breakfast because i'm really really hungry um, and yeah, Matt's parents have gone to Cornwall today. Um, I can't remember exactly what for, but they're going to be there till Sunday. So we're going to go out for a big family dinner on Saturday tomorrow when we get there in the evening. And I'm just, this is what dreams are made of. Um, and I get to take you guys along with me the whole way. So what could be better? So I know how cute is this little like watering can in my mum's like in the kitchen. But look, it's like a little greenhouse that my mum puts it's a lettuce plant apparently so cute for breakfast of course i need to get rid of those pretzels because they're so beyond stale cocoa pops and yes i'm a big kid and no i'm not ashamed about it and yes i'm going to always use my christmas gonk bowl um oh and i've got something really exciting to tell you guys as well. so cherries reached out to me um and for like a collaboration offer and i was like oh my god so exciting so hopefully the parcel got dispatched very very quickly um but yeah it was just it's so exciting so obviously i probably won't be able to film it until i get back <laughs> from holiday sorry i was just really distracted by leaves swaying in the wind but honestly i was just like i think i've worked with them a couple of times and it's amazing because you know you just think i'm not a big influence oh i hate that word actually sorry i'm not a big content creator i love the content i create and i love who i co create it with and i love what i do but it's a hobby it's a bit of fun and i get to connect with loads of people actually and it's just amazing and i made friends for life like malika wouldn't see my life without her and then when brands like cherries who i actually benefit from you know i get these spam emails about these facial cleansing brushes and i'm like that's either a scam or just not for me but Cherries is actually a brand that I've ordered from so many times without any PR ad gifting or anything like that. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you because it's just like a bit of a pinch me moment that even like a brand like Cherries would want to give me some money off and just, yeah. So, and I actually got a bloody great range of stuff for summer. They have lots of gonks. I had to restrain myself. Grandma's Rockery is already very, like, filled in her garden like a little rockery soiled area so yeah <laughs> but i just thought i'd fill you guys in on that because it's just so bloody exciting and as soon as i get that parcel um and when i get back from holiday i'll be filming it and it's just great i just can't i can't remember everything i bought should we have a look let's have a look <laughs> There we go right so go on the cherries i earned 22 cherries as well so i'm also kind of like advertising them already but cherries you re earn rewards 
and I have 444 cherries at the moment. And then you have loads of things here that you can get technically for free because they have the amount of cherries that they will take away from you. Um, but yeah, so it's got the there. Um, but they've got such a selection of stuff. So this is like, I'm going to show it in the video as well. That's all their categories. My favourite categories, personally, are... Where are they? I love their cleaning stuff. Um, their gardening stuff is great as well, actually, for my grandma. So I very quickly got dressed <laughs> because and I've done my hair up on my own actually which might sound crazy but I can never do a high pony that well but today's gone well. <sighs> I'm really hot and bothered but I'm going to run into town because I need to get Converse style pair of shoes from Primark. So you're going to come with me and let's try and not buy anything that I don't need but maybe last minute holiday essentials. But yeah I'm not taking my camera because my bag is already filled but So, I was in two minds about filming a separate Primark haul, but actually, I didn't get as much that would warrant a whole Primark haul. However, you would have seen the clips. Primark had so many amazing things. I'm just so hot and bothered. But, I spent £45, and I'm so happy with everything I got. So, let's just dive on in. What is that piece of hair doing? So, I got this for me and Matt for when we're on the beach. He's gonna low-key kill me for it, but it's fine. It's a ball, uh, catch, and bo catch ball set, one pound. They had so many amazing summer things. So if you've got kids, honestly, I recommend going in there um, if you've got a local Primark because there's so many affordable, cheapy bits that would make great fun with kids on a summer holiday. Um, but me and Matt are big kids, so it's like a, oh, it's just gonna be so good. So yeah, I picked this up. I picked up some disposable razors. I know they're not the best, but this is just what they look like. Um, and they're going to be really handy just for my arms and my legs and everything. The lighting is very bright, so I'm really sorry if that bugs people. But yeah, just three. Um, aloe strip, pivot head, two pound, and you get... Oh, no, sorry. You get a four pack for two quid, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, I then got some belts because they have some really nice belts in. So I just got a pack of two for two pound. Quite basic, but they're nice. Um because I always lose my belts. Um, and then I got this, which is similar to one I've already had. Um, but yeah, Oof. the lighting should be like, but never mind. So yeah, I picked that up and that was three pounds. I got some stuff for shoes because they had a quite a good selection. So I got foot cushions for two quid, um, just to try and make shoes more comfortable. And I wanna get some nice pumps and things from Primark another time. And there's some gel spots to help prevent, I assume, like you can put them in the shoe or on your feet, but I'm gonna put them in like the heel um, of shoes that go on my, um, on the back of my heels, obviously. £1.50, bargain. And I thought they'd come in real handy. Um, I got some sun protect after sun spray. I have got boots after sun and boots sun cream to take with me, because if you don't know, or if you didn't watch my previous holiday vlogs, I burn like a lobster. Um, I burn like anything and I turn into a lobster and it's just a very painful experience but this can be really handy for just on the go. It's non-greasy, 24 hour moisturisation, fast and even coverage, refreshing and cooling. So yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go. It's vegan, cruelty free. 
so yeah and i just oh it's nice and cold <laughs> um but yeah um clothes wise i've got these kind of like floaty shorts i'm gonna try them on in a minute and we'll see what they look like but i thought they look really cute yeah or nay um and they're really soft material but the thing is with shorts which is why i always go for skorts is they always give me like a camel toe look which is obviously not the one but we're going to give it a go and then to go with that potentially to add a bit of color they had so many and i may even branch into oranges and greens because they had so many nice like bright color clothes but I got this so it like hangs on the shoulder there and then goes a bit lower there four pound and i got a size 14 to 16 well i did pick up a 14 to 16 and then someone put a small on a 14 to 16 hanger which just yeah it's really really stretchy material and it's just i don't know how well you can see that on camera but it's really nice material um and then shoe wise i've got three pairs of shoes and they were all each under 10 pounds so i got these how cute are they they remind me of lemonade mouse og disney fans will know exactly what i'm on about um size seven and these were eight pound with my white dress from Honister, he's gonna look cute they're just gonna look really nice i know white is a bit of a risky game but i just i love i just love the print so yeah i then got the i need to try them on properly though um i got these which may not be everyone's cup of tea but they are like the perfect and you can extend them a bit i think um size seven and these were also eight pounds so 16 quid for two pairs of shoes is just amazing um and they're quite thick as well they look like they could be quite comfy um so yeah like for date nights going shopping you know he's gonna be really really nice and just in general because like, i don't really wear sandals because i could never find the right ones hopefully these will be nice and then the main reason why i went in there pair of black star converse kind of shoes and um, these were six pounds size seven um i am gonna get a bit of a shoe collection because i saw so many shoes that i love because i'm a tall girl i'm nearly six one if anyone didn't know and i don't wear high heels for that particular reason also they're too bloody uncomfortable um so yeah i wore high heel ish kind of shoes for prom and they were just so uncomfy so yeah i live by these kind of things and these were actually really really comfortable when i put them on obviously i need to break them in but yeah so that's everything i picked up but for 45 quid i didn't think that was actually too bad so i'm going to try some of the clothes but now i'm going to show you this which i'm going to do a massive review in this vlog because i have never shopped off in this style before but like many people my favorite sort of like celebrities and social media people what was this oh yeah oh my god that's huge okay that might be going back <laughs> but it's really nice it's like tie-dye kind of not tie-dye ombre dress and then we've got some skirts and then i've got a bodysuit so we're going to give them a go total of this came to 109 pound with discount which is a lot of money for four items of clothing but oh that's not the material i thought it was going to be and this is the um charlotte greedy um collection never heard of her before but i just thought it looked nice so let's just get them out what's well, nice though actually so this is a skirt it's quite a long one it's really soft actually maybe i'll judge too quickly but it's really nice elasticated waist so i got it in the blush color oh i, I stink <laughs> um but yeah i love i love the um guys that run it jamie and is it jamie i think it's jamie and someone else I, I cannot remember his name and then i got this color i feel like this material is gonna be really easy to catch this is the sage i just love the detailing um and then I got, because obviously in the pictures of Charlotte wearing these, I'm going to be really sad if that dress doesn't fit. Um, when I get the refund. But mum very kind of got the now. And then this is the bodysuit. This looks really, really nice and really stretchy. And then the dress, which is also Charlotte reading. Because she had like her trousers and top set, which looked like a jumpsuit. But... I thought I'd just skip with the dress. 
this looks like it's going to be absolutely massive uh, actually no and then you can tie it up but this is a dress but we'll see what it looks like on if not i can get a refund but do you get what I, this is why i liked it because it looked really nice and actually i just think this bit's going to be a bit i can get a safety pin or get lynn to fix it for me because that looks like it's going to be absolutely like everyone can see everything but we're going to give it a go let's try these on then it's got like this sash to tie it up with so maybe that will help but yeah so and if i like them then obviously they'll come on holiday with me so let's try these on i think i may have prematurely judged the dress because this is what it looks like on and you know what i actually love it the sleeves are <laughs> wild but i think it looks really nice obviously i wouldn't wear these underwear with it i'd have to wear skin tone <laughs> but mum likes it don't you yeah out of ten i'd say about eight and a half ten so i got a so you know when you see on Strictly, the dresses are tied of the bodysuit, it should be a bit more that way. But never mind. Obviously, once again, skin tone underwear, but I love the detailing. And this skirt is so flattering. Last one. Sort out the bodysuit a bit. Obviously, neutral underwear. I just love the detailing. I just think, oh, I need to pull that a bit more to that side. But yeah, absolutely love it. In the style, 100% recommend. Give it a go. Best £109 I've spent. Off. Safe to say, I'm obsessed with everything um, and I'm just so happy. So I'm going to try on the Primark stuff later when I'm at Matt's. But yeah, so me and mum are going to head off because we're dropping my, in a minute, because we're dropping my luggage off at Matt's, getting some money out and then I'm going to nails. I'll probably be really early, but I would rather be really early than late. So yeah, 20 past 10, got my thing for the um, time lapses. Just going to get some snacks for later. my toiletries i believe this bag's coming with me and the rest of it is going in the car i'm so freaking excited i'm in such a good mood those clothes honestly when you buy new clothes correct me if i'm wrong to anyone that buys new clothes which is pretty much probably everyone watching this <laughs> i'm all over the place um but isn't buying new clothes and them all oh, sugar um and them all fitting just you know and looking nice isn't that just the best feeling or is that just me um I'm going to try and get down as much as possible in one go. Mum's moving the car to the front, so it's not as much hard work. Yeah, I think we can get this down pretty much in one hit, maybe. Well, that was going last, because obviously the bag is absolutely bulging. Happy levels right now is just... Yes. All right in a second, but here's the before. Nails. There's Laura. <laughs> the sign, honestly. I do get what you mean, though, about it. I wonder, honestly, what other nail tech can you go to that comes out with all the soft boxes, the tripod for my time lapse? Like, oh, really wants me to show her lovely Zodiac nails case. And I don't know what shape to go for. I think on the picture it's coffin. But, oh, I think this is like a brand that you buy from now then. <laughs> so, yeah, I love the box. The box is just very nice. Um, yeah, we're tucking into them. Sweet on the teasers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because they're shaped coffin. Do you know what? We'll go with coffin. Mm -hmm. And then just a bit softer around. You know, like I normally just said, not as sharp on the um, corners. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, look at this. What a setup. Better than any salon, you know. I think this length would be just very... <laughs> They are. Oh. You can tell these are really good quality tips though. Yeah, they're honestly the best. I got so many samples to find these. I tried so many different ones and these ones are like the best ones I've ever used. They just feel really... Pick the base colour. These are the colours we've gone for for the swirls. We have got Forget Me Not, beautiful, and Sapphire, also gorgeous. And then the base colours, my well, base colour, um, rosebud looks quite nice. Mm, that one's so cute. Yeah, we'll go with rosebud. I love that one, one of my favourites. Okay, if Laura says it's a favourite, I'm like, yeah, go on then. This is a good one. <laughs> my nails. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's always I feel like it's like a free therapy session coming in. <laughs> 100%. <laughs>
I was choosing the brush to paint the colour on bar. They look so nice already. And we're gonna add the blue. Oh, it's exciting. You've done a great job so far, by the way. Thanks. Now greasy from cuticle oil, but I'm so happy. I don't know how you can see these. They are gorgeous. And I'm just waiting for mum because, yeah, but that's the after. Look how beautiful they are. Laura absolutely smashed it. Wear my sliders, cash. <laughs> oh obsessed I'm chilling in matt's garden got a pink gin lemonade holiday starts today um and i'm gonna start editing this vlog um but yeah so i went to the shop so if you can see what i'm doing um i went to the shop and i um before i came here and i went to get you can hear the dog playing with his toy <laughs> I went to the shop and got some vapes because I'm trying to be good. This one's the peach ice one and it tastes very nice. There's a cat. It's like a zoo here, I tell ya. But yeah, I'm feeling really good. Honestly, these nails have made me feel like something else. Um, I put this picture in the family group chat. I feel like I'm, when I'm talking to you guys, I don't feel so lonely. Hello. No. Um, I put this picture in the family group chat. It's going to be part of my... um holiday because I've created a new holiday um highlights hang on let me turn my brightness up the effect that the nails give honestly <laughs> um but yeah I'm gonna be facetiming Dawn in a bit because I'm just lonely I've got the dog leave her alone dog I love the cat <laughs> but yeah so cheers to you all um i hope you're really looking forward to the holiday. i'm gonna start editing this vlog i think get this done um my pack with me i need to add music to the cat is eyeing me up oh i'm not a cat person i'm sorry to any cat he was getting the toy you angry feline thing <laughs> i'm sorry to any cat lovers but i'm just not a fan of cats i'm really not oh my god do you like me today Oh, you do? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> She's very temperamental. <laughs> Sported. I feel like I just look so much better in the natural light. <laughs> um, but yeah. Honestly, the dog keeps eyeing up the cat. I feel like this is going to be such a good vlog to edit because I've got Laura in it. I went shopping and yeah, hello. I obviously can't show him on camera, but you, I feel like when you talk to an animal, your voice is the same as when you talk to babies. <laughs> Um, he's nuts. I hate squeaky toys. Anyone that has pets or has partner has, that has partner that has pets. I feel like I'm gonna be very like this at the moment. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if that irritates you. Um, the squeaky toys. I'm like it with kids. Honestly, the babies that have squeaky toys. Oh, that's my actual head in. He has to choose a squeaky toy, doesn't he? Dog has come to join me, and we're gonna focus. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna get a second one. And we're gonna go up to the house and I'm gonna make myself some noodles, I think. Maybe I'll take that off. Does that come off? No, it doesn't. What cover are you on top of? The box. There we go. I'm gonna get a second one. And we're gonna make some chicken noodles. So if you ever wanna know how I make my pink gin lemonade in Matt's um dad's bar area. Double gin and then a little bit more. Not too much though. And then lemonade. I can drink double gin, like tea and tea, but I'm not a very, you know, I'm just not a very specific person. I've edited this vlog all the way so far, except for clips I've recently filmed. I've all had some ice, even though it's made such a mess in a mind. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm feeling a bit better now. I felt a bit anxious. I'm on my own. 